Good morning. Glad you could join us. How many of you play Sudoku? I think I pronounced it right. I've been saying it wrong for a long time. It's that uh, numbers puzzle thing where you've got nine squares that each has nine numbers in it, one through nine, and you have to fill them all in. And so some of them come with that are easy, medium, and expert. I kind of stay away from the expert one. Some have one, two, three, four, five. And uh, so I, I like doing it because I don't use that side of my brain a whole lot. I use much more like the word emotion side, much more than I use the number side. Uh, I have a checkbook, uh, balance it, not so much. I just don't do that. I just, never mind. So uh, I like to play this. And so you can look at some puzzles, like intuitively you look at it, and it might say it's easy, but that looks hard. And I had one like that the other day. And so out of the, the, the nine squares with the nine little boxes in each one, three of them had no numbers in them. And I'm like, this cannot be easy. And part of me was, but I believe that they said it was easy. And so what you have to do is you just have to go through your progressions and you have to go through and all, do all the different things you do to figure out and fill in the blanks. And I was pretty close to doing everything that I could do to figure those things out. Still wasn't doing very well, but something told me, the person who put this together, they know it's an easy puzzle and I'm gonna believe them. And you know what I said to myself? Trust the process. Just keep doing the right thing and, and it's gonna work out. Sometimes in life, I sound like Coach Ditka here, in life, that you, it, you just looks like it's not gonna work out. Keep doing the right thing. Keep doing the things that you know are the right things to do. And I think it'll come out better than you might think. And sure enough, one by one, the numbers just started popping up and just like zip, 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 I was done. Then I went for a little walk. And I just thought about trust the process. And here it is, you know, the third week of, of March. And I'm seeing these, I don't know if there's lilies or what they are coming up out of the ground. But so it wasn't that long ago that I couldn't go walking in the, well, I could have gone walking in the park, but there was about 19 inches of snow there. I really didn't want to walk in 19 inches of snow. And some of it was ice. I mean, that ground was frozen solid. And anything that was below the ground just had to be frozen. And these trees that have been, and they're starting to sprout leaves and all, buds and all kinds of things. How does that happen? Trust the process. And I'm going to say this, any kind of life, plant life, it's a miracle. I mean, the, the, the stuff that God created, strawberries, it's a miracle. Bananas with that packaging idea, brilliant. You don't eat the package, you, you peel it. So in the Bible, the Apostle Paul says, he goes, I planted the seed, meaning I gave the gospel to you in Corinth. And then Apollos came along and he watered it. But he said, God's the one who causes it to grow. And he goes, that's, that's the only impressive part. We just do this and God does the miraculous part. So when it comes to faith, invite Christ into your life. Allow his word to be a part of your life. Trust the process. Hang out with other believers. Worship God. Read your, you do those things you'll grow. I love the parable of Jesus in, in Mark's gospel. He says, the kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, while he's asleep or awake, the seed sprouts and grows. But he does not understand how it happens. You don't have to understand how. I've been preaching for 35 years. I don't understand sometimes how it works, but people's lives are changed by the word of God. Trust the process. And one final thing I would say is that if you're, if you're planting a garden this year, and some of you are going to be starting to do that real soon, sometimes things aren't sprouting as soon as you want, don't dig it up. Don't go down there and try to dig the seed out, take a look at it, you know, bless it, whatever, put it back. No, trust the process. And trust the process of Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1.27. Have a great day.